With the 2019 NBA trade deadline nearly coming to a close, the trade talks and rumors will continue to grow until a deal gets done with Anthony Davis. The Knicks shocked the world by trading away Chris Stotts Porzingis to Dallas, and if the Mavs end up winning multiple titles and the Knicks continue to stink for the next decade, New York will regret their offer. How's it going guys? My name's Wilson. Throughout the history of the NBA, Many bad trades have completely changed the culture of two teams, one being in playoff contention while the other becomes awful, perhaps costing them a championship if they didn't pull the trigger, giving up certain players. Here are the worst trades for every NBA franchise, starting with the Atlanta Hawks. If you thought trading away Luka Doncic for Trey Young was bad, dating back to the St. Louis days, the franchise drafted Bill Russell out of the University of San Francisco on April 30th, 1956 with the number 2 pick, but stupidly trading the franchise center for star player Ed McCauley who would retire three years later and Cliff Hagen, a player who was serving in the military and had yet to play for Boston, ended up being a great player as a six-time All-Star but the Hawks ended up winning the title once in 1958 while Russell led Boston to a dynasty winning 11 championships, cementing his legacy as the greatest champion in all of basketball. The Boston Celtics trading away Joe Johnson in 2002 after drafting Joe with the 10th overall pick in 01, the Celtics dealt him only 48 games into the season, receiving Tony Dell and Rodney Rogers. Both didn't make Boston better. Johnson would eventually become a 7-time All-Star as one of the most underrated forgotten great players in the late 2000s. Imagine having the combo of Johnson and Pierce in their prime. The Brooklyn Nets, trading away multiple future first round draft picks for an old Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce and Jason Terry. Good thing is, Brooklyn slowly bouncing back in playoff contention. After a couple miserable seasons, the 2014 roster loss in the second round had to blow up the team. While the Celtics used those picks to select Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum, traded their remaining Nets draft choice for Kyrie Irving. At least the Nets made a smart move by trading for D'Angelo Russell. That was only the dumbest move for the Brooklyn Nets. Almost 30 years back, the New Jersey Nets traded away Julius Irving when the ABA and NBA merger took place in 1970. After winning the ABA title, because Irving was looking for a new contract, the Nets needed more money for the NBA merger agreement. They dealt Julius to the 76ers for $3 million. Irving later became a Philly icon, winning an MVP, making four finals, and a championship the city will always cherish. The Charlotte Hornets Obviously trading away Kobe Bryant to the Lakers for Flotty Divots, where Hornets fans will always feel the pain when they think of Kobe. Despite Bryant not wanting to play in Charlotte, the team could have at least tried to keep him. While Kobe became the best player in the 2000s, won 5 titles with Los Angeles, the Charlotte franchise still hasn't even made a conference finals appearance. The Chicago Bulls trading away LaMarcus Aldridge for Tyrus Thomas. LA was actually drafted by the Bulls with the second overall pick in 2006, but they traded him to the Blazers for the rights to fellow rookie Tyrus Thomas. 13 years later, Aldridge is still an all-star player, while Thomas became a huge bust and has hasn't played in the NBA in over 4 years. The Cleveland Cavaliers, back in 1980, the Cavs and Lakers made a deal to trade Butch Lee and a 1982 first round pick to LA, where James Worthy became the 82 pick the Lakers received, taking first overall. After Cleveland ended up with the worst record in 82, LA was coming off a championship, where big game James helped Magic and Kareem win 3 more titles, one finals MVP in 88. The two guys traded to Cleveland were both out of the league before Worthy even put on a Lakers uniform. In my opinion, Opinion, this was worse than the Kyrie Irving Isaiah Thomas deal because Worthy could have been the first James to help the Cavs franchise win a title. The Dallas Mavericks trading away Jason Kidd to Phoenix alongside role players Tony Dumas and Lauren Meyer in exchange for Sam Gassell, Michael Finley, AC Green and a second rounder. Even though Gassell and Finley had good NBA careers, Jason Kidd became one of the best point guards of all time and was already a proven franchise player after his rookie season. Fortunately, Kidd came back back to Dallas more than 10 years later, helping the Mavs win a title as a very effective role player. The Denver Nuggets, trading away their 1983 first round pick that turned out to be Clyde Drexler, while Portland gave away T.R. Dunn in 1980, who was an excellent defender, but never averaged more than 8.2 points a game. Drexler would become one of the most prolific scorers in NBA history. The Detroit Pistons, trading away Chauncey Billups and Antonio McDice for Allen Iverson. AI was at the tail end of his career, only lasted 54 games with Detroit 
Detroit. While the franchise hasn't won a playoff game in nearly 11 years since Chauncey was still around, the Nuggets became contenders in the West, a trade that still haunts the Pistons more than a decade later. The Golden State Warriors, trading away Will Chamberlain in 1965, where they were still the San Francisco Warriors at the time, at the very peak of his career, for Connie Durkin, Paul Newman, and Lee Schaffer. Guys nobody today ever heard of, and $150,000 in cash, with the team having financial issues, arguably the most lopsided deal in NBA history. Not to mention, the franchise also traded Robert Parrish in 1980, and the third overall pick in Kevin McHale to the Celtics for their draft picks, which turned out to be Joe Barry Carroll and Ricky Brown. Boston went on to win three titles in six years, while Golden State didn't even make the playoffs in any of the Celtics title years in the 80s. The Houston Rockets, trading away Moses Malone to the Sixers for Caldwell Jones and the draft rights to Rodney McRae. Moses won the title the following season with the Sixers and continued to dominate throughout the 80s. The Indiana Pacers, trading Kawhi Leonard for George Hill. Imagine how amazing the duo of Leonard and Paul George could have been. Despite PG doing well with the Pacers, the team never got over the hump. While Leonard helped San Antonio win a title in 2014, winning finals MVP at 22 years old. The Los Angeles Clippers, trading away Baron Davis and his remaining two-year over $28 million deal, including an unprotected first round pick to Cleveland for Mo Williams and Jamario Moon. The draft pick turned out to be Kyrie Irving. The Cavs landed first overall, won the title in 2016 thanks to his clutch shooting. LA was in a rush to get rid of Davis's contract so bad, it totally backfired, knowing they could have gotten the first overall pick. The Los Angeles Lakers, way too many trades to count, trading Shaq to Miami wasn't the worst in my opinion, since Lamar Odom was a solid player who played a huge role for Kobe's last two titles. In 1979, LA traded star player Adrian Dantley in exchange for Spencer Haywood. Dantley was the most prolific scorer in the 80s had a Hall of Fame career averaging more than 30 points from 1981 to 84. Haywood on the other hand struggled with cocaine addiction, was weighed by Los Angeles after one year, even considered killing his former head coach Paul Westhead. Drawing a dark time where he was always coked out of his mind, surrounded by the wrong people, Showtime with Dan Lee could have doubled the amount of championships for Magic. Maybe the Lakers would have won the title every year in the 80s, adding another superstar, but we'll never know. The Memphis Grizzlies Trading away franchise player Pau Gasol in exchange for Kwame Brown, Javaris Crittenton, Aaron McKee, two picks, and the draft rights to Marc Gasol, who turned out to be an excellent player. But Memphis helped the Lakers franchise win two championships, couldn't even try to snatch Andrew Bynum or Lamar Odom, the steal of the 2000s. The Miami Heat, trading away Steve Smith in 1994, who was one of the most underrated shooting guards in the late 90s, in exchange for veteran Kevin Willis. Atlanta had a few solid seasons, with Smith as their best player, while Miami lacked another shooter to help them get over the hump in the playoffs, they could have used Smith to fully make them true contenders. The Milwaukee Bucks, trading away Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, the best player at the time in his very prime, also in the GOAT conversation, LA gave up Elmore Smith, Brian Winners, David Myers, and Junior Bridgman. Even though the Bucks already won a title with Kareem, the 7-2 center helped the Lakers win 5 titles, another lopsided trade where Kareem was still a superstar until the late 80s. The Bucks trading Dirt Nowitzki for Robert Trailer is also worth a mention. The Minnesota Timberwolves, a franchise that's known for making terrible decisions, the Wolves actually drafted Ray Allen, but immediately traded him to the Bucks for Stefan Marbury. Allen, who was teammates with KG in Boston, could have been teammates with him in Minnesota. The New Orleans Pelicans, trading away Buddy Heel for DeMarcus Cousins. The trade felt like a winner, but a couple years passed where Cousins tore his Achilles, left in free agency without getting anything in return, while Heel has turned into a great player in Sacramento. A terrible decision in getting Cousins in the first place, now leading Anthony Davis demanding a trade. The New York Knicks, trading for Eddie Curry, their 2006 first round pick, two second round picks to the Bulls, and the right to switch with the Knicks first round pick in 2007. The two first rounders turned out to be LaMarcus Aldridge and Joakim Noah. Before the trade, Curry was hospitalized with an irregular heartbeat and refused to take a test that would determine if he should ever play basketball or not. Had plenty of off the court and health issues, where the Knicks became the laughing stock of the NBA after the Ewing era. 
the Oklahoma City Thunder trading away James Harden, a costly mistake receiving Kevin Martin, Jeremy Lamb, and 2013 first round pick that became Steven Adams. Harden's now one of the best players in the NBA, and if OKC doesn't win a championship within the next three years, they will live with regret for a long time. Before OKC, when the team was the Supersonics, the franchise traded away Scottie Pippen, who they selected fifth overall in the 1987 draft. The Orlando Magic, another dysfunctional franchise who made many mistakes, traded away Victor Oladipo and a first round pick that turned out to be Demonis Sabonis for Serge Ibaka, who was later traded for Terrence Ross. That's just awful. The Philadelphia 76ers, trading away superstar Charles Barkley in 1992 to Phoenix in exchange for Jeff Hornacek, Andrew Lang, and Tim Perry. None of them helped the Sixers in the long run, while Charles won MVP the following season, leading Phoenix to the finals. The Phoenix Suns trading Jason Kidd to the Nets for Stephon Marbury in 2001. New Jersey won 26 games before Kidd's arrival, instantly turned the franchise around, making back-to-back -back finals, turning them into contenders. Marbury, on the other hand, made Phoenix worse, lasted two and a half seasons there. Phoenix luckily bounced back after signing Steve Nash in free agency in 2004. The Portland Trail Blazers, trading away Moses Malone, whom they selected fifth overall in the 1976 ABA dispersal draft, traded him to Buffalo for a first round pick, where the Braves traded him six days after to Houston. Having no idea how great Moses would become, he could have been the perfect replacement for Bill Walton. The Sacramento Kings, trading away Oscar Robertson to the Bucks in 1970. The team was called the Cincinnati Royals at the time. The Big O was still a star quality player, teamed up with Kareem, helping Milwaukee win the title in 1971. The San Antonio Spurs, a franchise who's made very few mistakes, traded for Richard Jefferson in 2009 for role players Bruce Bowen, Kurt Thomas, and Fabricio Alberto. RJ didn't make much of an impact as his game regressed it. The Toronto Raptors, trading away Vince Carter, sending him to New Jersey for Aaron Williams, Eric Williams, and the contract of Alonzo Mourning, who never played for the Raptors, along with draft picks who made no impact, giving up their biggest franchise star for basically nobody. The Utah Jazz, trading Dominique Wilkins, after selecting him third overall in the 1982 draft, trading him to Atlanta in exchange for John Drew, Freeman Williams, and $1 million in cash. The human highlight film became one of the most electrifying players in NBA history. Imagine if Wilkins teamed up with Malone and Stockton, the team might have won a couple titles together. The Washington Wizards, trading Chris Webber to Sacramento in exchange for Mitt Richmond and Otis Dork in 1998. Richmond was already 32 years old, while Sewell was 25, just entering his prime, helped the Kings contend in the early 2000s. Thank you so much for watching this video. I talk NBA comparisons, amazing storylines, NBA history, and anything basketball that will interest you. If you love the NBA, subscribe for more content, more great stuff coming soon. See you next time.